hi guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to add gif and videos to your figma designs and i'm going to be using these designs that i grabbed from the figma community to um create this example so please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find any of my videos helpful um so the first thing we are going to do is to grab a video where we are going to be using to um show this i'm going to head over to pexels.com to grab a video um if you search pexels videos you can see um a lot of stock videos on pexels so i'm just going to search for home workout video so that it just goes along with the theme of the design um i'm going to use this um video here of this guy um so i'm just going to click on the download button and the download is going to start um immediately so once i'm done downloading i'm also going to um open up a new tab and go to this isgif.com so basically what i want to do here is to convert our video into a gif because there is no way you can play a video in your um app prototype except it's in like a gif format so for this first example this is what i'm going to be show i'm going to show you guys um different ways to achieve this um the video as a gif and also to embed it so here you're just going to click on this choose file button then select the video that you want to convert to gif um which is this particular video here and i'm going to click on the convert to gif button just below this page um once i do that the video should already be converted into a gif file so i'm just going to go ahead and save this gif file with this save button here now you see that our video is now a gif and it's been downloaded so now in our board i'm just going to delete this image of this here and i want to insert that gif um that we just converted so i'm going to draw a rectangle on the screen on where we are going to be inserting the gif and i'm going to bring it down so that we have this gradient effect below the rectangle i'm then going to head over to the fill section and change it to image then choose an image i'm going to select the gif file we just created um which is this gif file of this man doing a home workout um so this is the first way you can attach a video you have to convert it to a gif first so that you can play it in your prototype now i'm just going to go ahead and play this particular prototype <coughs> so that we see what it looks like all right so as you can see the gif plays just the way a regular gif would um and it's acting as a video so this is one way you could do this another way you could do this but you won't be able to play it in your prototype just like this you have to generate a link for it is by using the animal plugin so let's go back to our designs and what i want to do is to attach a video to this particular section here where we have this lady doing a workout also so um to do that the first thing you're going to need is the animal plugin so i'm going to um, just right click and go to plugins and i'm going to select find more plugins um i don't have the animal plugin so i'm going to go to the figma community using that button there and i'm going to search the community for animal plugin once i type in the word animal and hit enter it should sh display um the animal plugin which is the very first option that we see here i'm going to go ahead to click try it out um it's potentially going to open a new page um yours might not but it's going to open a new page and i'm going to hit this run button that we see here so it's going to try to open up the animal plugin for us but i don't have an account and if it's the first time you're using the animal plugin you will also need to have an account so you can go ahead to click login here or the sign up button anyone I'm going to click the login button and i'm going to use one of my email addresses to um, sign up using the google authentication um once you're done signing up um you're just going to um, um for me i'm going to skip i'm just going to skip all this um, because i don't want to set up any of this i just want to have um the plugin all set up 
I'm going to click on I'll do this later and I'm going to click back to Figma to take us back to our Figma board. Um, once you're done with that, you should be logged into your animal plugin. You can definitely close out this model and the page and open up the page where we need the animal plugin. So right now, from here, we can now right click and select the animal plugin. You should see it show in your plugins options. Once you do that, you just wait a few seconds. Um, the animal plugin will load up on your screen, just like um, you're seeing here right now. And once you're done, and once it's done loading up, you just want to hit skip on all of this because you just want to go straight to uh, what we need the plugin for. So basically on this, I'm just going to move this particular model to the left a little bit so that we can see the section we're trying to work with. I'm going to select this image section and I'm going to select media, um, which allows us to add the media file, which is an image GIF or anything. You are going to be I'm presented with two options either a link or an upload file button you could upload the file from your um, machine or your um, computer but for me i'm just going to paste in this youtube link here um, you can upload the video on vimeo or youtube and then paste the link here just like what i did here then you click on next and click on next then once you're done you can click on preview to preview the file so it's going to take a moment to load up um, and once it's done, you should see your video embedded in that particular frame. So we are just going to wait a moment for it to load. Um, it might take some time depending on um, the size of your video or the speed of your machine. And this is it. Um, you are going to have your video in the position where your frame is selected, whether it's a rectangle or a frame or an image. Um, the video will just be embedded in that particular position but if you play the prototype or you return back to your design file you won't be able to see the video because it's only generated through this animal plugin so this is one way you can embed the video so anytime somebody just wants to see this they will have to also play this um and make sure they have the animal plugin also so the next thing we are going to be looking at right now is how to insert a gif file um a regular animating gif file um i want to show you guys how to work with loti files and um, we're going to be using this last frame here i'm just quickly going to go to the loti files website um to show you guys um the files that you could use so here on the loti files this is what the website looks like we are just going to search for a regular animation like let's say a success um animation um gif design so so here you can see a number like a ton of animations on the gif um on loti files right so i'm just going to select one of these to show you guys as a sample so if you click on one of these let's say this success mode out here because that's what we are trying to show you can actually um edit like the colors you can edit the layer colors um but once i do if i click on the button it's going to require you to log in you can go ahead to um log in and sign up using your account um i'm just going to quickly sign up using mine and once you're done signing up you should have access to edit some of the files and some of the layer colors and things like that um i'm just going to close up this uh, model here so that we can have access to what we need um and i'm going to click on that particular design again which is this third one here that we chose earlier so here now if you click on um let's say um edit layer colors it's going to take you open up a new tab and it's going to take you to an editor where you can edit some of these things if you have a particular brand color that you're using to design and you want to make sure the animations and the gif are consistent with your designs um you can edit some of this um i'm just going to go ahead to download this if you scroll to the very top you should see a download button up here you can download as a gif or as a json i'm going to download as a json um format um and i'm also going to do down the download as a gif also but that will be later so i just want to quickly show you guys how to use the json files so right here in our design i'm going to quickly draw a rectangle so that i can bring in the gif file um after that, I'm going to select the fill, switch from solid to image, um, and I'm going to select, and I'm going to try to choose an image. 
right so from here we are not going to see the downloaded json file because um you can only import either an image or a gif now i'm going to go back to our browser and i'm going to go and download this particular file as a gif initially we um downloaded it as a json format i'm also still going to show you guys how to bring it in as a json but here i'm going to download as a gif so that we can just bring it in into our artboard after downloading i'm going to come back here i'm going to draw out the shape again and i'm going to head over to the fill section just exactly the way we did initially i'm going to switch from solid to image and i'm going to choose an image now we should be able to see our gif file that we just downloaded i'm going to select it and click on open to show it you won't see it because the initial state of the animation is not visible at the moment but if you play the prototype just like um i'm going to do here if you play the prototype you should see um the animation pop up just like this another way you could add your plugin is to have the lotify plugins I already have it here installed um just like we've installed the anima you have to install it create an account and all that good stuff so once you've done that and you have the lotify plugins you can also do the same thing we do draw a shape um I'm just going to delete the initial one we had there and leave this particular one that we're just drawing here. Draw a shape. You're going to right click and go to plugins. Click on your Lottie files. Um, once you do, you're going to see a collection of GIF and animations uh, presented to you by default um, with the Lotifies plugin. Sometimes the animations on the website might differ from the ones you see here and that's okay. Um, that's why you can always download the ones from the website. So here I'm just going to show you an example. I'm going to search for success like what we had on the website. You're going to see that even if you scroll and click on next, um, you might not see the exact um, success animation you're looking for. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to switch to import. And I'm going to import the JSON file we initially downloaded, which was the first download we did. Um, so here you can actually import a JSON file and that was the reason why I downloaded that just to show you guys this. Um, you can convert it to GIF with this convert to GIF button here. It's going to take some time but um, after some time you're going to have um, your GIF file that is ready to be used. Um, of course you can change the background color just like you're seeing on the left side. Um, if you're having a dark theme you can always change the background color to match the theme color that you're using. Once it's done converting, I'm just going to click on add to Figma button that you're seeing right here. And this button is just going to uh, add the file to our Figma board. Once I'm done, you should see that your Figma um, board is now populated with the GIF that you just created. And if you click on play and we switch to the page, um, you're going to see, I'm just going to hit R to restart this prototype. And you're going to see the image pop up. So guys, this is it. This is how you could create um, GIFs and import videos and embed videos um, in your design file. Thanks for watching. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell um, so that I get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.